change in course in DeSoto schools. Masks are now required for all students and staff K through 12. That's regardless of vaccination status. The school board meeting is stretched late into the night last night. About 100 people showed up to talk with opinions on both sides. We have placed a burden on these kids the last year and a half that does not need to be there. And masks would help prevent anybody in this room from having to hold your child as they take their last breath. The board's vote was close, four to three. Their decision now reverses an earlier one made last month where masks were only optional. DeSoto says that requiring them at this point is just the best move to keep everybody safe. And they're not alone. Several other school districts are doing this as well, including North Kansas City Schools, Liberty Park Hill, and the Center School District. Everybody will have to wear masks indoors. Again, regardless of whether they've had a vaccination against the coronavirus. Now, across the entire metro, Kansas City metro, masks are required inside for vaccinated and unvaccinated folks. Everybody ages five and older has to wear a mask in public places, regardless of vaccination status. All of this is because of well, more COVID hospitalizations now, also low vaccination rates. There are exceptions, including gatherings where everybody is fully vaccinated, people who have disabilities, and people who are eating or drinking inside restaurants. The order goes through August 28th. Not everybody is following Kansas City, Missouri's lead and requiring masks again in Independence. 40 Highway is a dividing line where rules are very different, all depending on what side of the street you're on. And the Tool Shed Lounge, it sits on city limits, so masks are back there for staff and patrons. But just down the road, three minutes down the road, Funhouse Pizza is not mandating masks for customers. The owner says that all the back and forth, though, is just not good for business. Unless we all get together and do it together and make it like a thing. And that's not going to happen too soon, I don't think. We're adults. If you don't want to be out in it, stay home. Masks are required for workers at Funhouse, and that's the owner's decision. Independence, again, is still only recommending them. Well, some Kansas City businesses are now requiring customers to prove that they're vaccinated in order to go inside at this ship in the West Bottoms. Customers will have to show a vaccination card or proof of a negative COVID test. No minors are allowed. This is only Thursday through Saturday uh, after seven at night. The ship is also still requiring masks. Starting Friday, only fully vaccinated people can attend shows at the KC Improv Company. Refunds will be available for anybody who has a ticket to an upcoming show who's not vaccinated. Only vaccinated customers will be allowed inside Hamburger Mary's and Woody's KC starting today. Let's take a look again at uh, some local vaccination rates. 56% of the people in Johnson County, Kansas are now fully vaccinated. Clay County is at 42%. Jackson County and Kansas City, Missouri are both nearing 40%. Platte and Wyandotte counties are above 35% with Cass County at 